This is hard work. Vijay Lakshmi and hundreds of thousands of plantation workers like her spend six to eight hours a day harvesting tea leaves. They are the descendants of people from India brought to Sri Lanka by the British almost 200 years ago to work on plantations. Today they earn around four to five dollars for picking a day's quota, which can range between 10 and 18 kilos. It's only if we meet the daily target that we get paid the basic wage. And they meet those targets in all kinds of weather. Earnings fluctuate depending on the crop, and aid agencies point out that workers' living conditions are difficult. You can see the poverty level, and the children are malnourished, and they are living in a very small space for the last couple of decades. Plantation housing has consisted of long buildings like this, divided into rooms for each family. Parents, children and extended families, sometimes 10 to 12 people, live in these line rooms. Alcoholism and malnutrition are common. Plantation companies say they take care of workers from womb to tomb. They provide health care, child care and other services. But there is still a lack of basic facilities. Uh, when they parade in the morning for work, sometimes they're late. So when you ask the basic question as to why, why they're late, they say we don't have toilet facilities, we don't have water, so we have to finish that. Sri Lankan tea brings in millions of dollars every year, but plantation workers, who are the backbone of the industry, see little of it. While there have been improvements in recent years, many still live in houses like this. But now, this new project is aiming to improve their lives. World Vision has worked with a plantation company to introduce a pilot scheme for workers. 23 families have been given specially designed houses with running water and dedicated toilets. The project also allows people to earn some extra money by raising chickens and growing vegetables. We have always lived with my in-laws. We have three children of our own and we shared a common living space. So it's for everyone's benefit that we got this house of our own. The people at World Vision say the success of this project means 75 more houses will be built. For these workers who play such a vital role in the tea industry, they're happy to finally have a decent place to live. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Talavakele, Sri Lanka.